Welcome to the WIHS Journal. On the broadcast with me today is Virginia Jones. Every year we talk about the consecutive health fair that the church provides for free at the Crossroads Community Cathedral. That'll happen this coming Saturday, July 27th. Again, it's a free health fair. Stay tuned next for all the details. And on the phone line with us is uh, Virginia Jones. I enjoy our conversations each year. And um, throughout the years consecutively, I know that your um, your free event has grown really so much to help the community. So um, tell our listeners a little bit about you, and then we'll talk about the event. I'm a retired registered nurse and a certified midwife. I've always had a passion for the poor and to see the sick heal. I decided to pursue a career in nursing at the tender age of seven, and I have never looked back. Seven, huh? Seven years old, you wanted to be a nurse? I was seven year, years old when I um, had a calling in my life to be a nurse. That's awesome. And then what age did you go to nursing school? Were you here in the country? Eight. I went to nursing school in, in London, England. Um, all right. Well, great. Thank you so much for telling us about, you know, your passion for nursing and this kind of all coordinates and ties in together about the health fair. So tell us, I know last year was obviously the seventh year. Um, tell us how that event was and the turnout. Oh, last year was great success. And we did mammogram on site and we also did prostate screening. And last year was very, very uh, ex- an exciting year because one gentleman came back and reported that he had a positive PSA and was able to have successful follow-up treatment, and he's now cancer-free. Wow, praise God. That's an awesome testimony, great praise report. So I know you guys are doing your event um, July 27th, again, at the Crossroads Community Cathedral in East Hartford. So tell us um, what you guys will be doing this year. What's different? Okay, every year we, uh, we have a theme. And this year we're, our theme is Do You Know Your Numbers? And we're focusing on uh, do you know your what your normal blood pressure should be? Do you know what your normal cholesterol should be? And, um, you know, this, this is what our focus is. So we'll be de- we will be focusing on heart disease, and we will be focusing also on diabetes. And also there will be nutritional dietitians will be there to talk with them and have, like, an evaluation and uh, help them in uh, whatever they need help in. That's great. I saw something about autism, too, that you're doing this year. Uh, Last year, we tried a panel discussion on mental health, um, what was happening in our community with um, depression and anxiety and all the shootings that were going on, and it was well received. So this year, the Lord really spoke to my heart to do something about uh, um, autism. So I went about um, setting up a panel discussion and uh, we have three psychologists and one pediatrician who is also a father to an autistic son. They will be uh, on the panel, and I'm hoping to get a large crowd to listen to them because uh, there's so much misconception around autism. I think the hearing from the educational side, the medical side, and you know, the social side of the disease, uh, I think it's going to help a lot of people. Absolutely. Well, thank you for explaining that. So I know that you guys, you know, you're doing the event at a church. So tell me, how do you think, you know, Christ is glorified in an event like this? I believe Christ is glorified because without knowledge, people perish. And we are giving, we are providing the knowledge you know, what they do with that information, it's entirely up to them. But I believe my goal is to provide the information to all people. doesn't matter if you are wealthy. doesn't matter if you have insurance. You can always go in and listen to a lecture. And, um, 
that is what I'm doing. I believe God is glorified in it because not only are we giving the medical, uh, doing medical screening, but we're also providing spiritual counseling. There, there's a tent where prayers are said, whatever need they might have. Someone might just get a bad news, bad health for poor, and they can always go in and listen or talk with on a one-to-one a minister that will counsel them and, you know, make them comfy. And they will also um, encourage them if they have, if they do not have a church home. The Crossroads Community Cathedral would, be, would welcome them with open arms. And that has happened. People have also received Christ during this time. So it is not only supplying, we not only supplying the medical but we are also supplying spiritual help too. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that about the, the prayer tent and plus, you know, different screenings that are happening. Who do you think mainly you're targeting for an event like this? Who are your main people that you're targeting? My main target population are people that have no health care, no, are very, uh, they're underinsured, no insurance at all. And for people who need to have information about the various illnesses that are out there, but everyone, children, everyone will be benefited from coming to this event. This year we have a group of young girls that are 4-H club. Uh, They have a 4-H club. They have members of 4-H club and they're going to talk to people about community service, children of your own age, you know, how you can get involved from a very um, young age in your community by doing various tasks and uh, being helpful and, you know, the discipline that goes along with that. Any details that I missed in this interview that uh, you would like to convey to our listeners? People, especially anyone with disability, children with disability, people that are caregivers, I would like for them to come out and really be a good audience for this um, well-educated and skilled presentation that we're going to have. I think it's going to really open the eyes to people with the misconception around um, autism. And there are other events, too, that will be going on. But our focus right now is on the autism spectrum. And um, that is where we are really asking people to come. You know, people get so bogged down with the everyday chore. They they have given up hope. They have very little um, expectation. And there's so much that can be done to correct that mindset. So we just, I just want people to come out and see what we're doing. This year, I almost forgot that we would be doing a screening to evaluate status of arteries. If you are clogged arteries, these are usually the first sign before you get a stroke, mm. and you don't really know it because it's so silent. So all these screening will be offered free of cost. Just be benefited from that. Perfect. Um, just tell us again the dates and the time and location. The date is July 27th, and it starts from 9 to 2.30, and it's at Crossroads Community Cathedral, which is 1492 Silver Lane in East Hartford. Once again, that was Virginia Jones, the coordinator of the 8th Annual Free Health Fair at the Crossroads Community Cathedral in East Hartford. Again, that's coming up this weekend, July 27th, this Saturday. For more details, call WIHS. Our phone number is 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of a staff and management of a station. I'm Anissa Porticelli, the WIHS Journal, is public affairs from WIHS Middletown.